Hi, Biportal New Surgeons. Now are you ready to reach the contralateral side? In this topic, we are talking about distal SP base resection. This step solved the problem of narrow working space and difficulty of decompressing the distal traversing root on the contralateral side. This is a simple sequence of distal SP base resection. Figure A. Locating a straight chisel on top of the distal SP base and resecting about 3 to 4 millimeters of it. Figure B. Resecting the contralateral distal lamina. Figure C. Resecting the ipsilateral distal lamina. Figure D. Finally, you can find the third boomerang. The width of a chisel is about 5 mm. 5 mm width resection of distal SP base at one go. Has a risk of lamina crack or fracture. And 5 mm resected area has very thickened lamina. So a little bit less sized resection, about 3 mm or so, is easier and safer and plausible by chiseling. Generally, this SP base portion has very strong cortex. Make a long near cortex breakage by several chiseling before making full, near and far cortex breakage at one point. Near cortex breakage can make a crack to far cortex. Then you can break the SP base safely without trying to far cortex chiseling too deeply. Do exercise several times and you can learn how to do it. Distal SP base resection, so called. Making the third boomerang is a simple procedure but it gives you wider working space. The distal SP base is frequently fighting against your instrument such as a burr or a carison punch. After resecting it, all the instruments can move freely. Especially on accessing the contralateral side area. And, distal laminectomy is done simultaneously. Without this procedure, there can be so frequently incomplete decompression of the contralateral traversing route. Even so severe spinal stenosis can be changed into simple stenosis after SP base resection.